November 19th and um, took the uh, morning off from work and my son has a um, hybrid learning day today so we uh, snuck out here and, and Maddox is um, he's in the captain's chair here so hopefully we can get him a deer here today we've been we've been working hard <laughs> but we are we're trying to get him a shot here within about 15 to 20 yards and um, he's got shots all around him uh, great stand funnel stand um, bucks have been showing up through here does have been cruising back through here again uh, November 19th they're coming off of lockdown um, things are things are about to get good so let's see what happens today Great shot for Maddox. He's been he's been trying hard, and we've been working super hard to get this done. And Maddox, we've had a we've had a great season. Um, mm -hmm. You know, it started off. Uh, Maddox and I were really close on several deer. We spooked several deer. Um, I did. So, yeah, we spooked several deer early with does, and we we sat in different places. Um, we had some uh, sits where we were close. We had bucks fighting in the creek, and we had uh, bucks running all around us. And I shot G2 when Maddox was up here, and we were trying to get him a buck and. Um, you know, Brooks, Brooks shot one early, a uh, really cool deer. Caleb's able to shoot the short 410 and now we rattled in a really nice um, eight pointer. Uh, we prayed this morning. Um, we prayed that God would orchestrate the shot and tell the story that God wants to tell. And, you know, super proud of um, just all of my kids and just, just the way that they, um, to be honest with you, just the time that we spend and just the way they love God and, and, um, and they worship Him. And, um, and, and creation is just really a byproduct of that being out here and just enjoying this time here together. So, um, 
we don't, the deer's not an idol. Uh, it's not a, it doesn't take the place of God, uh, um, but it's certainly something that we get to enjoy. And um, we give him all the praise and thanks for allowing us to be out here and do this. And, and um, yeah, help him put meat on the meat on tables and, and just really enjoying our time and, and mentorship and, and just time together as father and son. So uh, they're growing up and they grow up way too fast. So slow down and take this all in and, and, uh, and really enjoy it. So that's my encouragement to all of you. Uh, November 19th. And um, so we'll, we'll go ahead and get down. We're going to sneak out of here. We'll go back to the truck and maybe go grab some breakfast. And then we'll come back out and, and uh, start trailing Maddox's buck. So uh, thanks for watching, everybody. Uh, let's, let's go see if we can find that deer. Buck with a bow, man. Yeah. yeah. First bow buck. First bow buck ever. So for Maddox, that's awesome. He shot a he shot a nice buck on film last year. Um, shotgun or sorry, muzzle loader. He was gonna maybe shoot some does early and get his feet wet, and he said, "I'm gonna go after a buck." So um, that's what we did. November 19th, right, buddy? Mhm. Mm uh, we enjoy it. We thank God for it. Um, but at the end of the day, it's 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 meat on the table and um, some antlers to to stare out on the wall to just remember great stories. Uh, this is a great story that we will always remember, um, right, buddy? Yeah. Yeah. So, um, thanks for watching, everybody. Uh, thanks for following along with us uh, until late season. Um, Tady Mason and and we're we're all done until late season, except for maybe some doe tags to fill. But um, thanks for watching. Thanks for following us. Uh, at Reach Outdoors on Midwest Whitetail. Saturday, November 21st. I'm out here on my lease. Since gun season opened, it's been pretty slow. I'm up in the tree, optimistic. I know that trail cams don't tell the entire story, especially when there's only a couple spread out throughout the property. Um, there's some, several different trails they could take in between cameras and stuff, so um, I'm still optimistic that I could get a shot at something this morning. I have a doe tag in my pocket and one buck tag left. Yeah, I'm, I'm just excited to be out here. Wind's gonna pick up later on this afternoon out of the northwest. So, we'll see what happens. food plot that's behind me and I leave this area sit every year until November for the rut and it paid off. I'm gonna sit tight for a few more minutes and regain my composure before I go and get him. <laughs> Thank you Lord.
I see antlers. Well, here he is. He literally went probably 40 yards and fell over. What a beautiful buck. I mean, I don't know if I've ever seen this buck before on camera. He came cruising through this morning and uh, I'm thankful that I got an opportunity to put a shot on him with my 450. And what a beautiful animal. And to God be the glory. Without, without him, none of this would be possible. I'm at a loss for words. This is definitely my biggest buck to date, and uh, I don't know. What, I don't know what else to say. He's. I'm just. I'm thrilled. It's three o'clock on November 21st, which is day two of my. COVID quarantine bow hunting adventure. Once again, the recap, I was supposed to be yesterday and today in Southeast Iowa with Matt on his farm hunting all day. And found out the day before we were supposed to leave that we'd been exposed to COVID. And sure enough, that day, three of my kids popped pretty high fevers and the rest of our family hasn't felt great since. So canceled that trip with Matt and trying to just get out and see some deer yesterday and today. So I hunted yesterday afternoon pretty close to home. Saw a decent buck up on its feet and then saw five does and fawns and then also had two and a half year old walk underneath my stand. So it was a fun hunt, great to get out. Um, I'm actually on a pretty familiar farm today. It's one of Matt's farms as well. Shot a lot of deer out of this blind. Got an east northeast wind, which isn't super common, but it sets up perfectly for this spot. Um, hopefully these deer will be filtering out here. I got quite a few doe tags. Also, with it being November 21st, I think most of the does have been bred, and we're hoping to maybe get a buck coming to check these does tonight. So, we'll see. You got just over two hours left of legal shooting time. Nice, cool day today. Hoping for some action.
I got those two does taken care of and in the back of my truck, so I had an awesome sit tonight. Wanted to get in here and shoot at least a doe or two and was fortunate enough to do that. Super fun hunt, really entertaining even though I did not see any mature bucks. It was really fun to see all those little ones uh, trying to establish dominance among the two and a half year old and unders. So awesome sit. Thanks for tuning in and checking out Outreach Outdoors on Midwest Whitetail.